Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Keisha Golder, and in today's video, unleash your emotional intelligence and transform your family dynamics. I'm thrilled to share some powerful insights on how you can elevate your same connections through the magic of emotional intelligence. Let's kick things off with some examples of how emotional intelligence has completely transformed family dynamic. Take the Smith family, for instance. They began practicing active listening during their family dinners. Each member took turns sharing their feelings while the others listened without interruption or judgment. This simple yet powerful exercise allowed them to feel heard and valued leading to deeper connections and fewer misunderstandings. Another example is the Jones family, who implemented a daily gratitude practice. Be before bed each night, they took a few moments to express gratitude for something positive that happened during the day. This practice not only fostered a sense of appreciation within the family, but also encouraged empathy and compassion towards one another. As a result, tensions decreased and the family grew closer than ever before. Now, let's get practical. I know you're eager to incorporate these techniques into your own family life. So here are some actionable tips for seamlessly integrating emotional intelligent exercises into your daily routine. One practical technique is the use of I statements during conflicts. Instead of placing blame or making accusations, family members express their feelings using statements like I feel or I need. For example, instead of saying you've never listened to me, a teen might say I feel unheard when you're on the phone during our conversation. This simple shift in language promotes understanding and reduces defensiveness. Another practical technique is the implementation of daily check-in rituals. Each day, family members take a few minutes to check in with each other, sharing highs and lows from their day. This practice encourages open communication and creates opportunities for empathy and support. For example, a parent might share the high of a successful work presentation and the know of feeling overwhelmed by deadline. By sharing these experiences, family members can offer words of encouragement and validation, strengthening their connection. Additionally, incorporating mindful exercises into your family routine can significantly enhance emotional intelligence. One practical technique is practicing mindful breathing together as a family. Set aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath as you inhale and exhale. Encourage everyone to notice their thoughts and emotions without judgment. This practice helps family members develop self-awareness and regulate their emotions more effectively. Don't just take my word for it. Let me share a story from my own journey. I remember a time when I struggled to connect to my own teens. We often found ourselves in heated arguments, unable to understand each other's perspective. However, comma, I decided to apply the principles of emotional intelligence to our interaction. Instead of reacting impulsively to my teens' emotions, I took a step back and practiced active listening. I made a conscious effort to validate their feelings and respond with empathy. Even when we disagree, over time, this shift in approach led to a remarkable transformation in our relationship. We began to communicate more openly and authentically, and our bond grew stronger with each passing day. It's a journey I'll never forget and one that has forever changed the way I parent. Of course, integrating emotional intelligence into your family life isn't always smooth sailing. There are challenges along the way. For instance, one common challenge I faced was the resistance from my team. Initially, they were skeptical of new approaches and resistant to change. 
To overcome this challenge, I took a gradual approach, introducing emotional intelligent concepts in a non-threatening manner. I emphasized the benefits of, of improved communication and understanding, and I gave my team space to voice their concerns and opinions. Through patience and persistence, we were able to find common ground and work together to implement the techniques effectively. Another challenge I encountered was finding time to consistently write emotional intelligence exercises amidst our busy schedules. With the work commitments, school activities, and other obligations, it felt like there simply wasn't enough time in the day. To address this challenge, my family and I implemented small, manageable changes to our routine. We called out dedicated time each day, even if it was just a few minutes to engage in activities like mindful exercises or family check-ins. By prioritizing these moments of connections, we were able to overcome the time constraints and reap the benefits of emotional intelligence in our family dynamic. Now, let's delve into the science behind emotional intelligence. Did you know that studies have shown a direct correlation between emotional intelligence and positive parent Teen relationships. For example, research conducted by Dr. John Gott, a renowned psychologist, found that families who prioritize emotional intelligence had stronger bonds and experience less conflict. By understanding and managing their emotions effectively, both parents and teens are equipped to navigate challenges and communicate more openly. This scientific evidence highlights the importance of emotional intelligence in fostering healthier relationships within the family unit. By incorporating these techniques into your parenting approach, you're not only strengthening your connection with your team, but also laying the foundation for long-term relationship success. And finally, let's address some common concerns or misconceptions. I've received some fantastic questions from our viewers, and I'm excited to tackle them head on. One of the most common questions I receive is, where do I even start implementing emotional intelligence in my family? And it's understandable to feel overwhelmed by the prospect of introducing new techniques into your routine. My advice is to start small. Choose one or two simple exercises that resonate with you and your family, such as practice active listening or expressing gratitude. Consistency is key. So commit to incorporating these practices into your daily interactions gradually. Over time, you'll begin to see the positive impact that they have on your parent-team relationships. Well, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you found these insights valuable and that you're feeling inspired to elevate your team connections through emotional intelligence. Remember, it's all about fostering understanding, empathy, and connection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like for me to cover, cover in future videos, be sure to leave a comment below and join us in the next video where I discuss five ways to where I discuss five ways to improve emotional intelligence in parenting. Until next time, keep nurturing those connections, and I'll see you later.